How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and today we're going to be talking about UART connections and uh, this little port here that says a service cable on all of these flash boxes, like the Octoplus box, which is what I have right here. And then you use a little cable like this right there, and um, you can plug that in. And I'm going to show you guys how to uh, turn on a uh, UART connection on this phone right here. Um, and actually be able to do commands to it like kind of like a shell. So it's pretty pretty sweet stuff Now you can do this with any of these boxes, right? You can use that that port right there um, on the z3x or BST dongle you can use that port right there um, You don't even need to have the, the box activated. You don't need to have anything the, the cables all work without even running the software Okay, that's the cool thing all right, uh, without even running Octopus software, Z3X, or any of that stuff. So I've got my box here. I've got my cable connected up. And I'm going to show you how you're going to do this. So the process is to take the device just like this, and we're going to plug in the cable. Now, nothing should happen on this phone because you're just connected to the service port right now. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold the um, volume down and power while spamming your keyboard um, to get the terminal. So let's do this. All right, so let's get into showing you guys these UART connections, all right? This UART process to get your device talking over UART. So it's pretty cool. So the first thing you're going to need to do on your computer is you're going to need to download uh, this program right here. It's called Putty. And you can, uh, you know, you can download the 64-bit uh, uh, installer or you can just download the EXE, you know, whichever you prefer. Uh, EXE is probably the easiest thing to do right there. You just go ahead and download the EXE and then you can run it that way. Um, but you can use the installer too, whatever. Whichever, however you want to do it, I would download either the 64-bit installer or the other one. All right. So I already got Putty installed on my computer and it's right here. So this is what, what, it, what it looks like, okay? Now, um, to do this... We're going to need to have a flash box like you saw earlier, right? So I've got mine plugged into my computer. So let's go over here and just see where it's connected. So I'm going to go in here to Device Manager, go into My PC, and then Device Manager. You can get into Device Manager a lot of different ways. You can uh, right click here and uh, you can go to Device Manager 2, whatever you want to do. Okay. So I'm going to go to Device Manager here <clears throat> and we're going to go to COM port and this right here. I don't have any phone plugged in, just the uh, Octoplus box. But like I said, you can do it with um, Z3X or whatever. Uh, and you can see I have COM46, okay? So we're going to need that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Serial. We're going to type in our COM46. We're going to change our speed to 115200, so 115,200. And then we're going to click Open. All right, perfect. Okay, so the way you put a device into um, um, UART connection mode is you go ahead and you power it off all the way, so it's completely powered off. Then what you can do is you can plug it into this little cable on your box, and um, once you plug it in, you don't have to hold anything instantly, but you're going to hold volume down and power and then keep spamming your uh, enter key on your keyboard until you see this. Basically, as soon as you th see things scrolling, you can let go of the um, volume down and power button and then just keep spamming enter on your keyboard until you get this S boot prompt. So from here, we can type in something like help, okay? And we can see a lot of different information. So let me just open this up. Here we go. That'll be helpful, okay. Mucho better. All right, so here you can see all the different kinds of commands that you can do on this phone, which are pretty cool. So let's just do some of these. So let's go um, print E and V, enter. And you can see a whole bunch of things about the environment, um, some different things that how this device is set up. And then something to note on here is you can see each one of these says S boot pound. So this shell is, you know, over UART through the USB port, um, and you are putting it in, you're talking to S-Boot, okay? You're talking to the bootloader, just, just so you understand that. The other thing you can do in here is you can type help, and then you get your list of commands again, right? All these things you can do in UART or over UART. But if you type in help, space, and then one of the commands, so for example, reset, 
and hit enter. What you can see is you can see the usage right here. So help reset usage is reboot uh, or reboot system. So, okay. So that's what reset does. Now you understand what that does. Now what we're going to look at is a couple things. One of them we're going to look at is we're going to do help set uh, UFS and we're going to hit enter. And you can see that setup UFS device is, um, is functioning. Uh, this command works and it tells you a little bit more about it. Okay. We can also do that for the erase. So help. And um, we can do UFS underscore erase, right? If I can spell erase and hit enter. <clears throat> and you can see there's a couple things you can do here, right? So now you get a feel for what, the, what I'm kind of getting after here, right? <laughs> so you can tell it to UFS erase, boot or normal. Okay, so we're going to try to work with normal. And then here is the base or the location of what you're erasing. And here is the size or the sector that is being erased. Okay, so now that you've got this here, what on earth could we be doing in UART? Well, these boxes erase FRP in UART on some devices, including this one. And so let's look at that. So here is some of the commands, right? So we're going to do that first one. We'll copy it and we'll paste it in. All right. And it's just saying, yeah, we can do uh, set UFS. So that's okay. And then check this one out. There you go. Copy, paste, bam. Okay. Pretty cool, right? We're erasing. Actually, these are the FRP um, partition locations. Copy, paste. We'll bam, and then we'll do one more. Copy, paste, shaboom. And then the last one is this one, copy. And we already saw what this does with the help feature. This just reboots the device. So now we're leaving um, UART mode and the device is actually uh, booting up, okay? So now that we've done this, let's, let's go back and look through some of these things, right? So we just removed FRP. What did we remove FRP on? What device was that, right? Um, and the other thing to really point out is those commands I used right here with these, these two addresses are specific to this um, device slash chipset, okay? So you can't reuse these on just any device. You have to have the right addresses and locations and sectors for your device. But right here you can see Samsung right there. There it is. This is the SMG... 925v okay and you can see here's the build number so you can see a lot more information about this um, also if you scroll up to the initial um, logs that come up when you are putting the device into uart before you get the s boot uh, pound sign um, you can see a ton of other information here over uart which is really 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 cool um, including the fact that this is you know an exynos uh, chip a 74 2 0 you know again there's the information about the device it, it it is really 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 cool the other thing you're going to notice is um i'm going to unplug this device and since we still have this terminal open why not uh, plug in a new device so i'm going to do the same thing and you don't have to like close it and reopen it if you want to just keep working with devices so uh, i'm going to plug it in and i'm going to hold volume down and power and just spam the button Okay, and let go of it and then just keep spamming until I get my S boot and then we're going to do help again to see what kind of commands this one has. Now this being said the newest phones that are out there do not have that erase feature anymore okay um, they just don't so and even this one you can see when I go to help it doesn't even show um, that erase feature so we're going to just see if it's still there anyway with help and then we're going to say you fs underscore erase okay so if you look on this device that i just plugged in the ufs erase um there's no command so it doesn't exist on this device all right so we can't actually do the erase feature 
um, on this device. Now, what was the device? Let's uh, scroll up here a little bit and look through these logs and we'll see what device I just plugged in here. There is a lot in here. So let's see if I can find some information that actually tells me the device information. Oh, here's a chip. We're getting close. Nope, that was the, uh, that was the V. A lot of information though. This is pretty cool. Okay, here it is. Yep. So this is the SMG 930F. Okay. Now, that is the device I have. I will tell you this. Um, you can see this still, this setting is still here, the set UFS, um, but the other one is not functioning. Oh, and do you see what just happened? If you do not put a command in for more than 60 seconds, yeah, right here, it actually says you right here. So S boot terminal input waiting time is over 30, 60 seconds, and basically it continues and then just restarts the phone. So if you don't do anything in the terminal here, the phone will just boot up normally and you will lose UART connection, okay? All right, so there we go. That is the process here to get these UART connections. I just wanted to try to be really clear about a lot of this information so you guys could understand um, what, what we're looking at here. And um, it's there's a lot of stuff I don't understand about it, honestly, these numbers and stuff that I'm not sure exactly what all we're doing. But if you wanna mess around in UART, I mean, you gotta be careful, especially if you're doing any of the erase features or setting environments because that can totally mess your device up from booting correctly. Um, so be aware of that. But if you put in the help and then the command, you can see what it's going to do before you send the command, and that'll be helpful to understand what you're doing if you're messing around and looking around in UART on your devices. Now, um, the new ones aren't going to be able to do this uh, UFS set and UFS erase. Um, they've changed security on later Samsung phones, but this is still pretty cool and there's a lot of interesting things in here that you guys mess, go, mess around with including this upload mode is kind of cool to see that right there i've never seen that without a combination firmware so it's kind of interesting that you can boot into upload mode and things like that um so pretty 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 cool pretty cool stuff all right so that's going to wrap it up for doing a uart connection um over usb um with one of these flash boxes like i said i'm not even running the official software um, I'm just plugging it in and getting to that COM port and uh, doing it from there. So pretty fun, pretty cool stuff for removing FRP uh, old school method. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, and uh, hopefully maybe I'll look into actually getting a UART connection on a physical board, maybe with soldering some pins on. That's something I actually would like to do and see if we can get UART on maybe some of these newer you know, USB Type-C devices and mess around with those a little bit as well. So stay tuned for that video. Hopefully we'll get to that, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.